Y'all listen, God will do it again. Oh, oh, yes, he will do it again. Just take a look at where you are now and where you've been. Hasn't he always come through for you? He's the same God as then. Guess what? You may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again. That's what God wants you to know, that he's going to do it again. Do what again? He's going to bring you into victory yet again. You need to understand and remember that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His word does not change. It does not go back to him void. God does not want you focusing on on what the enemy is trying to show you because what he wants you to see is defeat. God said, think on his goodness of how he's been a good shepherd to you. You know how many times he has brought you out in the past. He's brought you out over and over and over and over and over. And God said, think on those things. My God, he said, think on those things which are lovely, which are honest, which are pure, right? Those things that are, are, that are of a good report, the good report is that God has brought you out before and God is saying he's going to do it again. Why? Because we are more than conquerors. Why? Because we are seated with Christ and when you are seated where Christ is, we can't help but to win. God is saying that he's going to win for you yet again. He's always come through for you. So what makes you think he's going to change now? My God, my God, what make you think uh, he going to switch up on you now? Uh, he's not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a man that he should repent. Do you understand that? What make you think he's going to switch up on you? His word is not going to return void. His word is settled in heaven. It does not change. It is everlasting when everything fades away. God has already spoken victory in your life because Christ dwells in you. Christ dwells in you. Greater is he, Rebbe Saya, that is within you than he, that in the world. Do you understand that? So as long as you are abiding in God and his word is abiding in you, you have the victory. God said he's going to do it again. No matter what the situation is, God is greater. He's greater. Do you hear me today? God said he's going to do it again. Just think on the goodness of Jesus of how he has brought you out before. He's going to do it again. Y'all know I love you. This song just came in my spirit. And I said, I know this ain't just for me. It's for you. Where the enemy thought you were on the edge. Got you thinking that you on the edge. That you about to drop. God said he's going to elevate you. Raise you up. He's going to lift up a stand up. I hope you hear me loud and clear. God is lifting up a standard. He's setting you on his word because you're standing on it. And because of it, your head shall be above my Abasaya. Your enemies, Abasaya, you will be just like David. My God, my God. When he said, My enemies came to eat up of my flesh, and they all stumbled and fell. Get ready for the earthquake feeling because that will be your enemies stumbling and falling. That every place not plan an agenda that the enemy has sent to influence people, places and things to get you out of track, out of order, off the wheel and out of the pathway of God to, the, to receive the blessings of God. You will see that they will stumble and fail. They will stumble and they will fail. You will see it. I hope y'all hear me loud and clear. I didn't come on here to do all of this today. I didn't come on here to say all of this, but I want you to know God is saying he's going to do it again. He's going to bring you into victory yet again. He's not a man that, sh that he should lie. Neither he the son of man that he should repent. Do you understand that? God say his word shall perform. So shall his word be that 
what goes out of his mouth. When he speaketh, it shall accomplish and it shall prosper. And God is telling you, you are more than a conqueror. You win again. He's going to do it again for you. I got to go. I, I thought this was going to be like two minutes or three minutes. I'm already at five minutes. I hope y'all heard me loud and clear. Y'all know I love you, but most of all, Jesus loves you too and more. Okay? He loves you too and more. Y'all be blessed. He's going to do it again for you.